Section 7.1, example 3. So we're going to look at parabolas with a horizontal axis. So basically, same parabolas, but rather than going up and down, we'll now go left and right. So everything is really similar, but kind of just x and y kind of swap. So instead of being x squared, we now have y squared. So y squared equals 4cx. C still makes the focus, but the focus is now on the horizontal axis. So C is now the x value. So my focus will be C0, and then my directrix is still negative C, but it's x equals negative C. And then my vertex is still 0, 0. So it should feel really similar, just kind of we're going horizontally rather, rather than vertically. And then those points on the focal cord are now C negative 2C and C 2C. So you'll notice the focus matches the x value on those. So let's go ahead and find one. So we have the parabola, 6x plus y squared equals 0. Let's find the focus, directrix, and then graph. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for y squared so it fits this form. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 6x from both sides, and we get y squared equals negative 6x. So that tells me this one will open to the left because c is negative. So positive c's will go to the right, negative c's will go to the left. So let's figure out exactly what c is. We know that negative 6 will equal 4c. That's just the way this, this will always be 4c. So we divide by 4, divide by 4. Um, and so we divide them both by 2, and I get c is negative 3 halves. So this immediately tells me the focus and the directrix. Um, since it's horizontal, this is an x value, so the focus will be negative 3 halves 0. It's on the x-axis, not the y-axis. And my directrix is just the opposite. It's an x value, but it'll be positive 3 halves. So let's get the graph started. I'll count by halves, so I have one, one so I can do 3 halves. So 1 half 1, 1 and a half 2, 2 and a half 3. All right, so we know the vertex is 0, 0. We'll come back to that. I know my focus is at negative 3 halves. And my directrix, again, is exactly the opposite, so positive 3 halves. And then let's just find two points on the graph so we can figure out maybe how like open or closed this parabola is. So that'll be those C points. So let's find C and negative 2C. So that'll be negative 3 halves and then negative 2 times negative 3 halves, which gives me what? Negative 3 halves and 3. And then my other point is just C and then positive 2C. So it'll be negative 3 halves and then negative 3 because it's the opposite sign. So negative 3 halves and then we'll go up to 3 negative 3 halves, and then down to negative 3. You'll notice, again, that makes that focal cord, so those should all be on a line together, those two points in the focus. And then we'll just connect those two points to make our parabola. And that's it. So it's just, again, a different way of graphing parabolas. Let's do another one. So let's find the equation of a left opening parabola. So left opening means c is negative, and it also means that it's y squared equals 4cx with c negative. So those are things I notice immediately when we talk about it being left opening. The vertex is 0, 0, oops, and a focal diameter of 3. So it looks, it opens to the left. We have some focus, and that focal diameter, so that distance, is equal to 3. And we learned that that diameter is equal to 4c, because it's 2c in both directions. So the absolute value, because we're measuring distance, of 4c equals 3. Um, so in this case, 4c is negative 3, because we decided it's a negative. 
And then we actually don't have to solve for c because the formula is y squared equals 4cx. So y squared equals negative 3x. So that coefficient is actually measuring the focal cord. All right, let's do one more in this video. So there's also one, this is why we're looking at parabolas in a new way. So there's this unique reflective property of parabolas that causes rays of light or sometimes electronic signals um, from a source located at the focus of a parabolic reflective surface. Um, so that just means something that makes a parabola shape. And then to be reflected along lines parallel to the axis of symmetry. So what that's telling me is if I maybe I place a bulb here, the light is going to reflect and hit the parabola and then go out in a parallel fashion. So it's going to reflect, hit the parabola, and then it just makes parallel signals. So this is really useful for lighting if you want to direct the lighting in a direction. It's also useful for satellite dishes and telescopes. Um, so we'll look at an example with a spotlight. So we have an engineer is designing a spotlight with a parabolic reflective surface, so it makes a parabola shape, and it's one foot wide and eight inches deep. So let's draw it as if it's on a graph. Let's make the vertex zero, zero, and we have a parabola, and it tells me that it's eight inches deep. So that's the depth of it. And then it tells me it's one foot wide, so that'll go this way. How far from the vertex should we place the bulb? So we just learned that we want to place the bulb at the focus. And if it's at the focus, that means it's going to hit the parabola, and then it'll reflect in this nice parallel motion. So we can use this information to figure out the equation. So I did a parabola. I did y squared equals 4cx, because I did opening to the right. And since we, we actually know two points on this curve, and we'll use those two points to find the equation. So we know this point and this point at the depth where the depth and the end meet, because it, yeah, where the depth and width meet. So since we're saying the depth is eight, my x value is eight, because we're doing depth in that direction. And then one foot wide means 12 inches. So that means it would be six inches to the top and negative six inches to the bottom, because that's going to make a distance of 12. So negative six. And then my other point will be eight, six. So we can plug in one of these two points to figure out what C is. So I'm going to use the top one because those numbers look easier. So y squared um, would be 6 squared. 4c times 8. Just plugging 8 and 6 in for y and x. Um, so let's see. We get 36 equals 32c. And then we'll just go ahead and divide both sides by c or by 32, sorry, to solve for C. So 36 over 32, let's see, they're both divisible by four. So we get 36, what is that, 12 over eight. So we can go a little bit more, what else goes, no. Nine, nine over eight, there we go. I knew that was wrong. Happens to all of us. Nine eighths, which would be what? Like um, a little over an inch, one and eighth inches, since we're talking about inches. So that tells me where my focus is. My focus is at C zero. So my focus is at nine eighths zero. So that's telling me where my bulb should be. So my bulb should be one and one eighth inches in. We'll say from the vertex, just so we know what we're comparing it to. So this is how we can use parabolas in real life.